Hey y'all, today on Vanessa's Dinner Table, I will be showing you how to make a quick and easy pepper steak and rice recipe. Okay, so let's get started. In this recipe, you'll actually need beef broth, soy sauce, seasoning salt, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, pepper, more beef broth for later, soy sauce, cornstarch, and some butter. I pre-cut the green and red peppers and onions, and I also pre-cut the meat. All right, so go ahead and take your butter and place it in the frying pan. I don't think I had to use a whole stick of butter or margarine, but I actually was rushing to do this video for you guys, so I wasn't really thinking, but it's not too bad. It wasn't too much. It turned out to work out pretty well. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that melted. And then you wanna place your steak in your pan. So go ahead and grab that. Now this is actually a thinner cut steak. And that's what I like to use because it's it cooks faster and you don't have to worry about it being really tough or anything like that. So that's why I choose to use the thin steak, the thinner steaks. So you're gonna get that nice and browned up. Separate it, make sure everything's getting cooked evenly. So now right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start my seasoning, which is the Larry seasoning salt. And the garlic powder. You can be as generous as you would like with the garlic powder if you like that taste. And the Italian seasoning. All right. You can always use um, fresh garlic as well, or minced garlic as rather, um, in this recipe as well. And this is just some pepper going in there. Guys, you're really gonna enjoy this recipe. Let me know in the comments if you tried it and how you liked it, how it turned out. I believe you're gonna really enjoy it. So go ahead and brown up everything. It doesn't really take too long. Now my son, he actually wanted to help. This is his hands right here, pouring in the beef broth. All right, so that's just gonna help get you a nice gravy going. Um, so you can have some juice to pour over your rice at the end. And so he's going to go ahead and take the green peppers, red peppers and onions, and place them in the pot. Okay. Now if you like your, um, your vegetables a little more on the crisp side, you can add them a little later. But I don't really like them too crispy. Um, kind of in between like a tender crisp So yeah, that's I add them when the meat is starting to turn brown So go ahead and mix everything up and make sure everything's getting cooked and mixed in And once it starts to you know brown up and it isn't ready anymore Then it's pretty much ready, you know, it's almost done. So right here. I'm taking um, just a cup to add um beef broth I think I used about uh, four tablespoons yes and then a tablespoon of cornstarch now the cornstarch serves as a thickening agent for um, your pepper steak so you can have gravy um, a thicker gravy at the end and I'm going to go ahead and add my soy sauce I could have added a little more but like I said, I don't really measure, so I wanted to have something measured out for you guys. So um, I just went ahead and used those measurements, but you can always add more depending on how, you know, how much you make or um, how thick you want your gravy. So you want to get everything mixed in good. And I already pre-made the rice. I actually used Uncle Ben's rice right there. Um, but I usually use um, the purple package of the Carolina Jasmine rice. I love that rice. So I'm going to go ahead and plate it for you guys right here. Okay. Get 
that nice and spread out. And then I'm gonna add the pepper, steak, and onions. I'm telling you guys, this is a very good, quick, and easy recipe. A nice comfort meal that you'll enjoy. Now let me know, like I said in the comments, if you tried it, let me know how it tastes. Usually I make cornbread with this. You guys are gonna have to stick around for another video on how I make my homemade cornbread. But here it is guys, a nice savory pepper steak and rice dish that's easy to make and that the whole family will enjoy. Okay, thank you for watching another video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye guys.